Hi and welcome to Be Green. I'm your host Todd Weather. On this show is about making green really fun and maybe a little easier. Today we got a great show for you. We're actually going to check in with Natalie who's out doing some style shopping, eco-friendly way. We're also going to buy the library for some food. But first, I'm in the mood for a picnic. How do we do that the responsible way? Well, let's go see what I can come up with. Well, I've got my picnic blanket. Now all I need is a reusable bag or basket. Wow, <laughs> ask and you shall receive. I can use this over and over. Now all I need are some biodegradable plates. Wow, plenty of support from this community, let me tell you. Can't reuse them, but man, they are biodegradable. Now let's go check in with Natalie, who I think is doing some goodwill. Now, most of us love to shop, but think about all the energy and resources it takes to make new clothes. Well, not to worry, I found the perfect alternative, it's Goodwill, and it'll save you money. Got my reusable bag, I am ready to shop. Oh, I see shoes! Women always have to start with the shoes, don't they? Look, oh, and my favorite color. Ooh, maybe I'll get this for Todd. He belongs in a nursery school. This will go perfect with Todd's t-shirt. <gasps> Ooh, Carolina blue. Go heels. Oh yeah. All right, now I'm with the big dog here. We've got Doug Barr, the CEO of Goodwill Southern California. How you doing? Good, Natalie, thanks. Good, thank you for having us. Now, I just did a little shopping myself. Found a lot of good things that you guys out there might not think that is around here, but this Goodwill is really nice, and people can do their part in um, you know being eco-friendly by just shopping here, right? Absolutely. If they shop here, not only do they get great goods at great prices, but they provide funds for Goodwill to help people get jobs. Yes. So it's really a win-win for everybody. You know, people that were formerly on some kind of substance abuse problem or you know coming out of jail or coming off welfare these are folks that are hard to place goodwill specializes in finding jobs for these folks that's amazing because i don't know if a lot of people knew that out there you know sometimes people think goodwill is just a place where you know you get rid of the stuff you don't want in your house you're like this is a good place just to donate but the yeah. fact that you guys are helping people get jobs that need you know a second chance that's huge everyone's probably pinching their pennies right now so affordability i mean this is where you need to be and you know, think of all the resources and energy that it takes to make new items. I mean, most of us love to shop, Yep. but why not come to a place like Goodwill first before you go try and look at all those new fancy things, right? You talk about sustainability. Last year, we kept out of landfill 14.6 million pounds of textiles. Wow. 4.5 million pounds of electronic waste like old computers, TVs, and 3.5 million pounds of paper products. Like E-waste is really hard. You do not want to put that in the landfill. And some people think, oh, they have to go to a specialty E-waste place, yeah, but the fact that off. you guys have it, any Goodwill you can do it here. store, Any yeah. Goodwill store or any attended donation center for Goodwill will in fact take your um, old television, your old computer, anything with a cord, and we will take it free. I've really enjoyed meeting you. Thank you so my much. My pleasure. And Natalie, I, I do uh, think I left a computer in my car, so I'm going to get it, donate that, and I have a bag of some old shoes and, and clothes, but they're nice shoes. Bless you. Thank it's you. just they don't fit my feet, so anyway. Okay. Thank you so much, Doug. I appreciate it. Pleasure's mine. One bag of clothes. Yep. You have shoes too. Yep, one pair of shoes. One pair of shoes. One laptop. I'm so glad you guys take electronics. Yes, ma'am. Good to know. I didn't know what to do with my old computer. We recycle. It's perfect. And yeah. this is a tax write-off, right? That's right. Perfect. We all need help there. We need your name only right there. OK. Alrighty. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. I'll be back, I'm sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Natalie, but I already have overalls and I'm counting on them coming back in style. For a picnic, I could use some silverware. Where? From heaven. Two types, you can bring them from home. They're rewashable, but you can also pick these bamboo ones from to-go wear. Look them up online, one of the coolest green businesses on the internet. I could also use some cloth napkins, perhaps maybe some organic cotton. Right on, manna from heaven. Let's go down to Main Street and check in with a business that I bet you didn't know was certified with green. Yep, just uh, catching up on some of my reading here at the library. Library Air Health, that is. Did you know they're also sustainable and they're using some cool ideas to help the environment? Let's go check them out. Hey, 
Standing here with Thomas Kelly, who's actually the sustainability manager here at the Library Ale House on Main Street in Santa Monica. And this is a pretty special place. You've got a lot of people that come in here that love this night spot. You've done a lot for the environment here. Can you take us through some of the things that you've done to be a little bit more sustainable? Sure. I think one of the big things that we've done to be part of the community is uh, a nonprofit program where we donate 15% of our sales the last Tuesday of each month. It's a big step that a lot of people don't do. Otherwise, we have uh, biodegradable containers. We do a composting program with the city of Santa Monica as well as a composting program in the house. We grow some of our own vegetables. We work with a lot of local farmers that are organic or somewhat organic, using really good practices. Talk to us about the to-go program, because obviously you guys have some different to-go containers than most restaurants. We do indeed, and we do a lot of to-go. Uh, we use bagasse, which is a sugarcane fiber, very easily biodegradable. We also use PLA, which is a, a corn-based polymer that uh, we use for our straws, as well as a potato plastic, which we use for our forks and knives and stuff like that. So these are all biodegradable uh, in, in, instead of plastic. Now you also do composting here. Tell us a little bit about that. We do. We do composting with the city of Santa Monica, which takes, gets taken out to Bakersfield for the majority of our stuff. And then also we do in-house composting of the raw vegetables uh, right here in Santa Monica in Sunset Park. Uh, we do worm composting, and we also do regular composting. So I understand a lot of the ingredients in your foods are also from local farmers? Yeah, indeed. Uh, actually, Alex Weiser from Weiser Farms is dropping off a delivery right now if you want to meet him. I'd love to. Let's go. Great. Tom was cool enough to hook us up with Alex Weiser from Weiser Family Farms, a local grower that's actually given us some awesome things for the food that's right here in this restaurant. Alex, thanks for joining us, man. My pleasure. Man, uh, what I'm so stoked because obviously we get to see some natural foods and this is this is coming from local. How, what's that mean to you be able to be? Uh, I, I love it. I mean, we, we've been uh, here in Santa Monica doing the farmer's markets here for the last 30 years and it's great to have the local businesses here also getting on the local, buying local, and using our local ingredients on their menus is just amazing. I really appreciate it and uh, I can't help. I, I have, I love, the, I love the support that they give us and we're trying to support them also. That's awesome. <laughs> and you know what? Whether you're supporting this restaurant or going down to the farmer's market, look these guys up because these guys are doing a lot for the environment by doing everything local. Not being trucked across the United States, it's also really, really good. Flavorful. Cleaning up this place has got to be hectic when it gets there, but you guys are also using some biodegradable stuff there too? Yeah, we use uh, a product called Evolvo 2, which is from H2 Orange 2. It's a hydrogen peroxide based cleaner, and we also use Greasinator. Those are just a lot less harsh on the environment. They take a little bit longer and they take a little bit you know, more elbow grease, but it's worth it in the long run. Take us to your website. Give us the address. It's uh, www.libraryalehouse.com. Okay, and your address here? It's 2911 Main Street. And let's have your phone number if you've got it. It's 310-314-4855. Uh, so whether it's for lunch, for dinner, or just to hang out with some friends, you got to come and support a place like this that supports the environment. Figures you'd give me the heavy bag. <laughs> I've got the makings of a good eco-friendly picnic. Look at this. I've got my biodegradable plates, my reusable flatware, and my reusable napkins, and I even brought my canteen so we won't be using those nasty plastic bottles. But now I'm feeling a little lonely, but I don't have any food or a pretty girl to share this with. Natalie to the rescue! Ah, hey, at least I got the food now. So, Todd, I did bring you in my wonderful picnic basket some organic food that I got from the farmer's awesome. market. Yeah. And I'll share it with you on one condition. What's that? You let me join you. Deal? Uh, tough call there. Okay, why not? Awesome. Awesome. All right, I know I saw you struggling a little bit, and I was like, yeah, okay. no food. That's pretty tough. Yeah. Well, I have some awesome organic black bean and orzo pasta awesome. salad for Very you. Very good. Dish you up. Right here, you brought it all. Do you mind? I not did. At all. That's and killer. you're totally set up here. You have right all these on. great eco products. Yeah, it smells good. Sweet potato mash Sweet that potato I made mash. Very from good. home from mm. scratch. That's awesome. Dish me up, babe. I will, no doubt. And then I have some organic fruit. I have some grapefruit. It's kind of a, a vegetarian meal today, but kind of a vegetarian it's better meal. for the planet anyway. Food fight! Yeah! Hey! Todd! <laughs> Silly. And then I know you you might not like these, but they are organic Brussels sprouts. I but didn't eat them when I was a kid. Why the heck really would I eat them? They're really good. Hey, not so bad. Why would I eat them now? They're so yeah. good for you. <laughs> so I think you should dig in. Very good. Natalie, this is awesome. Cheers! Once we eat, though, we're going to have to get active, right? You want well, to get something in the park today? Yeah. I'd love to. Oh, okay. Isn't that good? Thank you so much. All right. You are so welcome. But I think we also should get active, which is also part of being sustainable. 
And guess what I brought? What'd you bring? The Velcro ball. Wow, Velcro ball. Sounds like a real fun time. Let's go. No time for eating. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Yes, that was so fun. Form up Eco Green Guys. <laughs> okay. And girls. All right, anyway, well, you guys, we have to pick up our trash though, Todd. Oh, that's right. Picnic. No, without yeah. a doubt, you got to take whatever you bring, make sure it ends up into the right recycling bins, right? Recycling or composting, yeah, perfect. Yeah, for Todd Weatherill and Natalie Horton, I just want to say be green. Be green.